You are watching School Night. My name is Novena Carmel, and School Night tonight is brought to you by Music from Ireland, promoting Irish artists, celebrating the amazing music music that comes from Ireland. And I'm here with Sorka Richardson. Hello. Hello. How you're, are you doing? You're looking sleek and fabulous. Thank you. <laughs> I've been on tour for like three weeks, so I need to have maximum two outfit options. Yeah. I mean. Do you are you one of those people that kind of has like a, a uniform, I guess you could call it for yourself? I do now, only for convenience, yeah. not for any other reason. Like, yeah. you know, one tiny little suitcase you're like, okay, we bring two suits, we bring one pair of boots, and then you can't I also think when you wear black, people don't realize that you're wearing it mm. over and over again. If you yeah. have like a signature red jacket. True. Good point. Which you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you can just like bring well, I don't know if you would do this, but yeah. I would bring like many pairs of different earrings. Yeah, I have That's like easier two. To carry. I lose, I lose <laughs> everything. So I bring like I have two, and I'm doing my very best to hold on to them. Right. Yeah. Well, you are looking sleek, Thank and you. you're sounding amazing. How do you feel right now? I feel good. My feel adrenaline's good. a little, a little up, but uh, yeah, no, I feel good. So so nice to get to play in LA. Yeah. Um, Matt, like I only just got here a few days ago. I've loads and loads and loads of friends who live here. Yeah. Who've never, who for years have been like, Sir, when are you playing? When are you going to do a show? When oh. are you going to do a show? Um, so they were all like front rows singing, all, singing along, you know, mm. it's really, really nice. Yeah, it was That's good. a nice feeling, right, with your yeah. friends there. Yeah, and yeah. so this was your first show in Los Angeles? I did a show here like, it could have been like seven or eight years ago. Oh, a while ago. Okay, cool. It was, but like, it was like, there was no, it was like to 10 people and... I said earlier, like some of my friends got so excited the day of the show that they went, all, they all went off to brunch and then missed the show because they, <laughs> they got a little carried away at brunch, you know. So this one felt a bit better than that. Don't brunch. Yeah. We'll brunch tomorrow, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, day, day after we'll celebrate. Right, right. So that's cool. They were all here. They're I all love here, that. Yeah. That's so beautiful. Um, and I love, you know, like on stage, everyone has like their different vibe, their energy that they yeah. bring. Obviously, like the dudes before you were like, ah! <laughs> And then it was cool, like, to see you. You were so, like, rooted and grounded and at one with the guitar. Yeah. And um, and still so passionate in your own way. Um, and it felt like you've been doing music for a long time. Is that true? I mean, I understand. You've been playing I mean, since you were, like, a kid? or Yeah, like, I, st I started playing drums when I was 10. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I think I started playing guitar around the same time. I was always in bands with my friends when I was growing up. Yeah, nice. Like, I started properly playing, sh I mean, shows. They weren't, they were two, uh, two friends and a barman, that's you know. That's a show. That's a show, yeah. yeah. I mean, you got to start somewhere. That's all you need. Yeah, like, <laughs> a I know. All I need is a witness. <laughs> yeah, literally, one, one friend <laughs> to take a photo and then you know what happens. It happened. That's um, how you know, yeah. Probably like 10 years ago or something. I used to hate playing live. I was really so scared. Yeah. I have to like really psych myself up. I feel like kneecap is like a good, that's good, psych yourself up music for uh, for a gig, you know. But, yeah. Um, I don't know, I think it's just doing it over and over and over again. You need to get, like, yeah, it gets less scary. Yeah, totally. I definitely. Yeah. Um, and actually, let's let's go in a little bit more to the camera so everybody yes. can see your lovely face. Because I know, I, we just get, like, so into yeah, it. It's like, oh, yeah, the folks are here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but, yeah, so we're here with folks on Twitch. And they all Sorry. loved your set so much. It's okay. I know, isn't it funny? I like this card. It's just circa with, like, ten exclamation marks. Ten, and a, a bunch of A's. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's so funny. No brunch, why you be so good. <laughs> I know, it's so hilarious, right? Um, one person is wondering um, if you're going to be touring in Asia anytime soon. I mean, soon. I would love to be touring in Asia. I really, yeah. really would. I've never been to Asia. Yeah. Um, I would love to tour Asia. I have friends who've toured Asia, and they've all had the best mm -hmm. the best time ever. Mm -hmm. Like, how do we make that happen? I don't really know. It's, it all starts right here, right it now. It all starts right here, yeah. If you know, yeah. if you have any... Uh, any push there and can help. I feel can like help. Japan. I know. Um, Japan is like really appreciative yeah. of like culture and music. And uh, Alex, who was playing keyboards with me, he toured Japan. Yeah. Um, and ha like ha had the time of his life. I love Japan. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's on the docket have, for you. I hope so. Absolutely. <laughs> I would love, I and would you, love to go. You just toured Europe, right? I was on a two week tour in Europe with an Irish band called Villagers. Yeah. One of my favorite bands in the world. Um, How cool is that to tour with one of your favorite it was bands? amazing. And yeah. I used to intern at. at their record label as well. So when I was like 18, That's I was spent ages putting their CD in envelopes, sending off to radio stations and yeah. stuff. Uh, which I told Connor when we were on tour, and he's like, "Oh, <laughs> he didn't remember that at all." I met him in the office, and he didn't remember it. Um, <laughs> but I don't know. It's kind of funny to do that, and then 
and then get to go on tour with a band who you love. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was class. I that loved must it. have been magical. Yeah. yeah. And um, I understand also that you lived in New York for a little while, I did, right? Yeah. I went to college in New York. Oh, you went to college yeah. there. What college? The New School. Oh, yeah, New School. Yeah. yeah. I was just hanging out with uh, someone named Jesse Boykins that went there. Probably not at the same time. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, is that a famous person? <laughs> no, who I don't know. no, I mean, he sings. Um, Jesse but Boykins. He, I mean, he went to the New School. He went to the New School. I mean, a lot of people have gone there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so many talented folks. Yeah. What, do, do you find that that time that you spent in New York had an impact on your music at I, all? I think it did because I studied creative writing when mm -hmm. I was there. And I think while I was there, I really realized that everything else that I tried to do, I didn't like as much as music, mm. first of all. But also doing the creative writing degree, uh, I don't know, I think it, re it informed the way that I write songs. Yeah. They're all very narrative driven and that's not <laughs> necessarily intentional. It's just right. the way it happens. Um, I also just met loads, like loads of great people who I still work with now. Like I live back in Dublin now. I've lived in Dublin for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. I think it's just very exciting when you leave home at 18. And yeah. Go somewhere as mad as New York, you know. So I think it made a big, it really. Also, what I was so, I was too scared to tell it when I made music when I was younger. And I think being in New York where I didn't know anybody, uh, I me it meant that like if I went to an open mic and made a fool of myself, I didn't care as much because no one there. Totally. Yeah. I didn't. I wasn't gonna like run into my neighbor or run into my hairdresser or something yeah. or my old teacher, which it would. <laughs> Dublin's so small that that would happen to you. So yeah. That was really very freeing and kind of gave me a bit of a push to like start playing shows and start showing people my songs and that kind of thing. Yeah, I totally relate to that because, yeah. you know, you're talking, talking about Japan and when I was like 20, I lived in Japan for six months and I always liked singing, but I didn't until I went there. Yeah. And I was like, well, no one's going to remember this exactly. and I'm not going to fit in no matter how much I try. So I'm just going to be like just free to be it. myself. Yeah, yeah. And it was the same thing. I came back a lot more confident. Yeah, so yeah totally. I never told, like I never sung in front of anybody. Yeah. No one knew that I sung. I didn't even think I saw, saw yeah. it until I was in New York. And I was like, Surprise yourself. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's cool. Kind of a good, it's a good, a good thing to do, I think. Yeah, absolutely. I, I totally promote it. Um, <laughs> and you have a song coming out this week? It comes out on Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah. That's two days I know. away. <laughs> it's I called know. Archie? It's called Archie, yeah. What's up? What's what's Archie about? What can we expect from Archie? Um, What is it about? It's a, I guess it's a song about kind of like... A very potent teenage friendship, mm. um, like losing maybe like losing touch with people who were once a big part of your life, that mm. kind of thing. Yeah. Um, me, I made it in Dublin over the summer. Went to actually, I did like a couple of days writing with loads of my f favorite Irish writers. Wow. Um, I don't know if you know, there's a band called Saint Sister, a yeah. band called Pillow Queens, um, James yes. and Morrow. We all just James Winston McMore, of course, yeah. yeah. We all went to a studio for a couple of days, wrote a load of songs, and this was the only one that I kind of like t took it and kept it and yeah. you know, thought maybe I'll keep this and do something with it. Um Yeah, so it's kind of it's the first like of my own song like sing like my own single I'm putting out in, in a little while. Oh cool. Did made loads of it over dreaded COVID, you know. Yeah. <laughs> as, as did everybody. So Yeah. Um yeah, it comes out on Wednesday. Uh, all right. <gasps> Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Sorka song. Archie is coming out this Wednesday. Make sure you download it, listen to it, share it with your friends, and get this artist to Asia. Asia. <laughs> yeah. Pronto. We're so happy you're here with us. Thank, Thank you for being on School Night. <laughs>